I'm John Oler and I want to talk about uh, the Cases book. The DVD that comes with the book contains an expanded table of contents with the introductions and summaries of each chapter along with working hyperlinks to URLs. It also contains all of the figures, illustrations, and media files referred to in the text and a searchable version of all the open-ended discussion questions, the references, glossary, index, and the multiple choice questions, there are 600 of them, that are systematically linked page by page to the unfolding story told chapter by chapter in the book. There's also a PowerPoint summary on the DVD for each chapter highlighting key points. Now the next thing I want to do, i uh, put the uh, DVD in the drive on my computer, then I'm just going to go ahead and open the Explorer and go to that uh, drive. And the file that should come up is the index file uh, or the so-called README text file for the Cases book. On this file you'll get an introduction to the DVD and what's in it. Uh, also you have links to the expanded table of contents, which is really in the bridge form of the whole book, which I'll go through in a moment, and instructor's manual, which um, contains valuable material that instructors will want to know about and use. I'll just open that file immediately um, so you can scroll through it. You see we talk about the uh, expanded table of contents. We talk about, especially, about the multiple choice questions and the greater reliability and validity we get by introducing those to students directly and giving them access to them. Those multiple choice questions can be accessed by, for example, clicking on this link or if you want a um, MS Word file or a WordPerfect file, you can click on either of these links. I'm going to open the PDF file, which is a, uh, an Adobe file of all 600 questions, just uh, so you can see what that looks like. And the file is set up so that the questions are numbered chapter by chapter and each question uh, has with it a page reference as you see here this particular item refers to page four in the text and um, what we basically do is explain why one of the choices is correct in this case choice C is correct and A, B, D and E are all incorrect and we say why in this explanation of the answer. Um, the tests, which, and by the way, this of course includes 600 of these items, 50 per chapter for all of the chapters in the book. Um, if I scroll clear to the bottom of this file, you can see chapter 12, uh, item number 50 here, referring to page 667 in the textbook, which happens to be the last question pertaining to that. Um, here I have open a, an explorer file and uh, just click on the index file to get to the one we were looking at a moment ago. Or I can return to that Explorer file and, and open, for example, the instructor manual, or I can do that from here. And we were, we were just scrolling through the instructor file, instructor manual, which is also available to all the students who have this book. We looked at the multiple choice test questions. And we also have these questions as tests. An instructor can use 50 item tests over any of the chapters or, for example, let's say we look at the test over chapters 7 and 8. If I click here, uh, that test will open. And um, here it is over chapters 7 and 8. There are 100 items here. And you can see that the answers, of course, are not showing in the test version. Returning to the Explorer and, um, and then back to our index file and um, in particular the I want to go back to the instructor manual and look at um, we've looked at tests we have uh, 200 item final tests that are random selections of 200 items from each of the uh, 600 items and they're uniformly spread over all 12 of the chapters. We also have in addition PowerPoints for each chapter and I just want to open one of those PowerPoints to show what we've got 
in the PowerPoint summary. This is a very useful tool for teachers to be able to use. And uh, they can also modify it, of course, if, if desired. Um, the PowerPoint contains, uh, in addition to a summary for each chapter and page, we also have a lot of, of uh, links that uh, instructors may want to consult. For example, here about uh, Samuel Gridley Howe is an excellent um, uh, wiki article. We are very selective in choosing these Wikipedia articles. We've uh, very carefully selected ones that have substantial notes and references as you see here. Um, because of his work with Laura Bridgman, Helen Keller also learned to read and write. Well, returning to the PowerPoints, um, it's quite interesting to, um, to look at um, the way in which we're able today to expand our understanding um, and our work in the classroom to the entire world and essentially to the um, entire internet uh, through the DVD. For example, this is an article about how Braille began, which we have linked on uh, in our um, PowerPoint for Chapter 3. And just to pick one, one other one out, I'll click on that and we go to a web page where we can see um, Helen Keller uh, working with uh, Annie Sullivan. And if we click on the real video or the MS video, we can actually see a video version uh, and observe and hear how Annie Sullivan taught Helen Keller to speak. These uh, video resources offer a rich in uh, addition to the classroom. When I saw Helen Keller first, she was six years and eight months old. Also, I want to introduce the expanded table of contents. Now we could get to that either by opening the file from, um, for example, the teacher's um, manual. Um, we could open the file from, from here in the teacher's or instructor's manual uh, by clicking on expanded table of contents. We could open that file from the index or we could open the file from the uh, uh, explorer. But uh, let's go to the expanded table of contents which I already have open here. You can navigate either by contents of the book by clicking on any one of these links, which are subheads in the chapters, for instance. Um, or we can navigate by the figure list. Now, if we go to the figure list, any of the figures that we find in the textbook are going to be linked here. And these numbers correspond to um, the uh, uh, particular figure uh, location in our uh, expanded table of contents. We can return to the contents and uh, or the figure list, or we can go back to the how to navigate this DVD, which explains the whole shoot and match here. Let's we'll scroll down to this uh, uh, video concerning uh, Ethan Kurtz. Um, one of the resources that is provided to us by Stan Kurtz, the father of Ethan Kurtz, in this particular case, is a very excellent video documenting uh, Ethan's descent into autism and then his recovery from autism. This was one of the most special moments of my life. I want to just go to another uh, resource. We have a number of videos of that type in the expanded table of contents. And um, students who observe these resources are uh, eager to go through them in detail. In addition to those resources, all of the figures that appear in the book in black and white are in color here. We will open a file. And here's the file showing the uh, American Dental Association's uh, approach to dental amalgam. Here we have a picture of dental amalgam and so forth. So that's it for the uh, DVD. Uh, thank you for buying the book and thank you for uh, using it.